Welcome to Denman TV. We're here at Salon International 2014. What's new, what's exciting, we're about to find out. Come join me. I'm here with Mark Woolley, international global artist hairdresser, and he is here with the electric brand. And I'm going to ask him a few questions. I think what we're trying to do with, with the, the electric brand is make a bit of a difference, you know? So we, we have a studio, we shoot all our own campaigns, we have our own product line, we make all of those in the UK, and it's similar, similar sort of brand values to Denman. If you could only have three items in your kit bag, what would those three items be? I would have a Denman paddle brush. I'd definitely have some prep spray. And I think you need a good hair dryer. I use these Italian ones called Calexia. Thank you so much, Mark, for taking the time. Should we head back to the Denman stage? Definitely. Okay, here we go. I'm here with Chairman of Denman International, John Rainey, MBA. Why do you think Salon is so important? And why do you think that 66 countries from all around the world come to visit Salon? Well, for one thing, uh, Britain is still the creative capital of the world for hair styling. So really, everyone has to come to London to see what the latest trends are. Salon provides a focus for that, and indeed a focus for people to exhibit and show all the new products that are being produced. I'm here with Johnny King, Head of Marketing at Denman International. Hi Johnny, what are you about to embark on? I'm about to have a hot towel shave and I'm hoping that Sheriff has done this before. This is Mike Taylor, who's the director of British Barbers Association. Mike, tell us a little bit about your job. Well, what we do, we set up five years ago because we couldn't believe there was no Barbers Association or anyone representing barbers in the UK. So basically what we're trying to do is raise the standards of barbering in the UK and make sure barbers can just be taught barbering and not have to go down the hairdressing route first. I have had the great pleasure of bumping into Tony of Tony and Guy. Hello Tony, how are you? Hello, I'm very well, thank you. It's a pleasure talking to you. It's so well, lovely to meet you. A lady like you. Thank you very much, you're charmer. Um, how long have you been in the business for, Tony? We started at Tony and Guy Salon in 63. So you can say I've been in hairdressing forever, yes. since the age of 12. So God knows how many years that is. I'm not going to tell you either. No, we don't. <laughs> I won't ask you that. I'm here with Jane Lewis Orr. Jane, tell us a little bit about yourself and your involvement with Salon. Um, well, I've been involved with the brand for 28 years now, so starting in the most junior position to now being responsible for the show. My goodness, so this is all thanks to you. And what do you think is the most exciting thing that's being brought here to Salon this year? I think it's the sheer volume of education on stages such as this, um, that people can get up close, look, listen, try products before they buy products, go around and test things, see what's new, and, you know, reinvigorate and get that excitement, get that passion going again. Every year at Salon, they try to find new and inventive ways of using hair, but Balmain gives you wings. I'm here with Sandra Krauer, and she's the designer of these fantastic creations. I mean, I would definitely wear this to the next red carpet event. Thank you, Sandra. Let's do How glamorous, I've never been in a Bentley before. This is Roger Wigmore from Wiggy's Barbers, Hornchurch, Essex. And so you have come up with a fantastic invention of the Pro Edge comb. Can you tell us a little bit about why it is so special? Well, the Pro Edge comb really redefines the principles behind the technique um, of the scissor over comb technique and the clipper over comb. Uh, what's important about Pro Edge really is the message that it sends out of how to open and close the scissor with just the movement of the thumb helping to steady the arm with the technique and also positioning the clipper when we're gliding across the comb, never under positioning. So the ledge on the actual comb itself is helping that and also ensuring that we're using a little bit more of the wrist and less of the elbow. I feel like 
there seems to be a real rise in the um, the barber shops recently. Do you feel like men are taking more pride in their appearance? Want to know more about the the kind of the ins and outs of a hairstyle rather than just five minutes in and out my hair is cut? Oh, for sure. Men are taking much more pride in the grooming, and it's gone back into the barber shops as opposed to men's hairdressing. It's more of barbering now, and they're taking a lot of pride in it. And for me, it means that they're coming in on a much more regular basis to the barbershops, keeping their looks and their styles maintained. It's been a really long day at Salon. I think I need to take a little break, put my feet up. Oh, yes. I'm here with Errol Douglas, president of the Fellowship. Hello, Errol. How is Salon going for you this year? Uh, Salon for us this year is uh, our best ever. Uh, I've been president now for nearly a year and a bit, and one of my directives was uh, to reach more people. Uh, for the first time, we've got a bigger stage, a more open stage. Uh, you would ask anybody in this room, Salon International is international, it's global. People come from all over the globe. So this has been some of the highlights from over 230 exhibitors at Salon International 2014. We've seen some new products from fantastic new inventions and let's wait and see what 2015 has in store.